Long time goalkeeper Lee Stacey joins me here um, at Eamon DC Park Long for going back 2 1 to go with United. You know, I'm going to half lead. Lee, with that in mind, wasn't very disappointed to have the lead at half time and then go, go behind 2 1 in the end. Um, yeah, definitely. We were gifted a goal to be fair, but I think we thought we'd done alright in the first half. Uh, it's actually nice and decent football, but set ourselves right to take the lead and try to go out and keep the ball as much as we can, stop giving, don't give it away, so we're going to take it for the second half. But, Unfortunately, um, a couple of bad mistakes in the past courses, and yeah. Yeah, just spoken to the new fan there, but that's something you certainly mentioned a lot was the fact the team didn't keep the ball very well in the second half. Would you agree that had a big, um, big play in the result? Yeah, 100%. Um, I think for the last four or five weeks, maybe more, um, we haven't been keeping the ball as well. Like, all we have to do is pass the ball two, two touches, three touches max, give the second pass, make the team walk and have four gaps. It's not only for a Hollywood pass. Just trying to try and do the light eyes. So I think we have to strip it back, go back to the basics and look at what we'll work for us at the start of the season and try to get back to that. Big game next week against that loan, the derby. Obviously, the players are very dejected. You can see that the full time whistle. Big chance that comes back, isn't it? Yeah, you know, I think a lot of boys, including myself, are very disappointed with that. Now I take the feet and can see the goal is very piercing, so I'm not happy at all. But um, it's gone now, so all we can do is walk hard and try to get to next week. Um, I don't think. I think you can get more away for a game. Mm -hmm. Big derby at home, especially considering the away, the away leg was a very tough game. So I think the boys will bounce back and, um, and hopefully we can, we can get them to the where we were before. And just from a personal point of view, you made some very good saves at uh, a time where we were on the rocks. And I suppose you have to be pleased with that. But as you said, there, to concede two goals in the manner you did, Vinnie Farley, we all know what you can do in the box. It was two trademark Vinnie Farley finishes. And he had an awful lot of space from the defenders in front. Of, I imagine you're quite disappointed with that. Yeah, like you look at the forest and maybe I can see the tree all season and now we're two in one game. It's, um, especially if you think Galway, no disrespect to them, but they are down the bottom of, of the table. So, um, yeah, it's, it's I'm, I'm a few of them but I think um, it's, we just got caught out. We were counting them. <laughs> we just couldn't get in. And to be fair, I thought Finney's force was very hard. The second one, second one, I think another one I might say. This is a new test on for long for this. You had a fantastic start of the season, new club record when you went on that one beaten run. Two unexpected defeats now on the bounce. And as I said, this derby coming up next week, this is a real test of character, isn't it? Yeah, well I think um, if you look at the start we had, we were really good. We were actually we were well worked and our division status like top of the day for most most of the campaign. But I think um, if we just get back to it, the more we were now, we have a good chance. Like kind of, I'm glad kind of we had a dip when we did. And not later on in the season when it could be huge. So we can learn from this, we can learn enough from it. And there are a good bunch of lads there, and no doubt they will bounce back and take it off from these two games.